Hello everyone, and welcome back to one of Let's Play's Blind Edition. And today, I'm gonna be playing a PC game for a change from a fan of mine um, called Jan Ribeiro, and that, who has basically requested this game called Perspective. No idea what it's like, I get the thing it has to do with something about perspective of seeing things and stuff like that, but let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Starting off with an 8-bit sort of title screen, reminds me a lot of the NES, to be honest. I see it also has like some sort of ambient soundtrack as well, or at least just some weird noises going on, but it creates some sort of atmosphere and things. I really like it when games do that if you ask me, but still. So apparently I can move forward like this with the WASD, that's probably going to take a bit of getting used to, but I'm sure I'll get used to it at some point anyways. So let's see, so this is pretty much, well, it's a, it seems to be like some sort of 2D platformer by the looks of it then and things. So um, it doesn't appear to be too too bad so far or anything, but wait, what? Whoa. Okay, I'm guessing this is why it's called Perspective then, because it then rearranges stuff from the background and makes it all look nice and stuff like that, but still. Also, what? Oh, I get it. I was inside the game and now I've escaped, and apparently if I use the left click of the mouse and things, um, what can I do? Can I like, oh wait, I can move around like this. Oh, I see, so I can pan the camera around like this. Okay, let's see, so and also if I look at this and left click it, it brings it back, right? So then I can move him around. Okay, that's pretty cool. So then if I like touch that thing, it means that I die and stuff like that. So then I have to try and like maneuver myself around to places like this, right? In order to go ahead and things. Oh, I see. Okay, now I get why it's called perspective. Because I mean, like, you're able to... Even though it's some sort of illusion and stuff, you can move the camera around and then, you know, just manipulate it in ways so that way you can solve the puzzle and things. This is a really cool concept, I must say. Oh my god, I'm glad for the fan like who requested this and things, but still. So let's see, I need to move on to the next screen and press E. I'm guessing it's this thing over here, right? Yeah, seems to be. With the cube. Okay, cool, so let's see. I know that I can zoom in and out as well with this, which seems pretty nifty. So if I'm here, and if I look around, uh, where is the goal? It's kind of like if Portal was put into perspective, really, if you ask me, but still. Let's just have a look for a second. Yeah, there it is, so there's the goal over there, so I need to try and get over here like this. But I'm assuming that if I just leave it like this, then I can easily just walk past like this! Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> Oh boy, whoever came up with this like, is a genius from things. I, I bet you though it's one of these games that doesn't really have a lot of people that, that made it or so, because there are some games like that, you know, where basically they look amazing, but they're made by like a small group of people, main, mainly like students from university or something even. Still. What's a what? Oh wow. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's kind of weird like looking at this like in perspective and things, because I mean like you know, it looks like you're not going to make it and things, but it's kind of, like I say, it sort of tricks your brain, but in such a clever way, my gosh. Well, anyway, let me try going on this one here, see what this one does. This screen is locked. Oh, I see, so I can only go on to the ones then which are green by the looks of it. Fair enough. Well, let's just go on to this one then, which is... Compression Artifact, okay. I'm actually glad that I'm doing this as a one-off as well. As watching a full series of this, I suppose, eh, it would work, but I mean... I think it would get boring pretty quick, because, I mean, you get the main idea what it's like. It's a puzzler, but a really nifty one, <laughs> where things are put into perspective, really. Also, that soundtrack. My god. <laughs> I do like it when games have these sort of soundtracks and things, because, I mean, I do like me some soundtracks uh, from games and stuff which sound all catchy and things and stuff like that, but sometimes, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of ambience, you know? So that then you can just like feel relaxed playing the game or something like that. I don't know really. It's just I like different variations of music really in video games, depending on whatever it is really. So let's see. Wait, how far do I actually have to go? So w let me just have a look around and see where the goal is for a second. It's like I'm playing some sort of first-person game now. <laughs> this is the new Doom, but set in Tron. Also, there's um the goal right there. Okay, cool. Well, so if I click this, it says that I need to look at 
Oh, right, I see. So in order to switch the camera around and stuff, I have to look at this dude over here. Because he goes red, otherwise I can't access him, right? I thought so. Okay, so let me just get back to where I was for a second then. Um, I need to try and... How do I even, like, make it past this one? Let's have a look. Unless, can I, can I land, like, on the ground or something? I'm gonna give it a go. Even though, really, I'm just gonna touch this and die. Um, okay, right. Unless maybe there's something I need to... Oh, oh, no, I know, wait, I think I get the picture. Oh, oh, I think I get it. Okay, so now... There we go, look at that, because the actual backgrounds... Why you think they're gonna block you, they... Oops. They don't, by the looks of it. <laughs> oh my god! I bet you just every level on that always has something new up its sleeve, and if it does, then I'm completely fine with that. My god, man. <laughs> I like it when you play PC games like this, you know, because they just surprise you of what they have to offer. Also, if I jump, is that going to touch that? Probably is, but... Oh, never mind, I'm fine. <laughs> I need to somehow make it pass without dying. And let's wait. Oh, I get it. The more I zoom in, the smaller I go. Therefore, I can make it easier for me, because then I have uh, less chances on touching the thing in general, right? Except then I have this in the way. Um, let's see. What about this? Would this work? Not quite. Unless what I could do then is pretty much just, um... Oh, wait, no, wait. Can I actually... Zoom out and do this? Nope, maybe not. Okay, this is actually going to take a bit of a while or so. If it, if it, if, you know, some of these are too long and things, I'll just cut it out until I've actually got the hang of it and stuff like that, but still. Um, okay, so, let me have a think. So I need to try and get past that. I'll tell you one thing I could do then, is move back and then do this. There we go, that worked out. So then, I can easily, I, I can just drop down, right? Oh no, but then I got this thing in the way. <laughs> oh my god, man. Um, oh, oh, I see, so I need to, I need to go, whoa, I need to go all the way around there, right? Because if I jump, I'm going to hit that, I see, okay. And that's, what if I zoom all the way out to where it can't see me, and then die? That doesn't actually work, does it? Okay, fine, so I'm trying to find a way to make this easier for myself, but it looks like it's going to be actually not that bad. Because then I can just do that. There we go. <laughs> In fact, that's actually really cool. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to bring the camera back and then just have a tinker around and stuff like that. This is pretty much just trial and error of the game, if you ask me. But honestly, for good reason. Oh, boy, though. If you want to actually play this game yourself, by the way, you can. Because this game actually is for free, pretty much, now. So... You know, I'll give you like a link in the, in the description and that way you can find this is you don't have to pay anything to play this game, which I think is pretty cool. Because I mean, oops. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fine. But you know, like, because it's nice to just have these sort of, I guess you could say this is an indie game, basically. Um, because like, obviously this was not really with a, a lot of budget or anything like that. Like I said, it looks like it's more made by a bunch of students for university, but that's not saying it's bad. This is by far so freaking unique. I love this. Oh my god. Why was this not published on other platforms and things? I think this would have gone down well. Imagine using this with the Wii U. The motion sensing part, you know, of the Wii U gamepad and stuff. I reckon that would have worked pretty well. Why, why did Nintendo not do that? That's rather strange. Anyway. Oh, ho, ho, I see. So I can use them to basically just get past like that. Oh my god. I'm sorry if all this video is going to be is just me being amazed at this. But seriously, this is so freaking clever. I take my hat off to them. I can't really tell what the main character is supposed to be though. It looks like it's some sort of daft punk model to be honest. <laughs> I am really not too sure. Also, is that a thing that I can... No, it's not. I, I get the feeling this is a wall. Yeah, it's a wall I can't actually get past. Oh, oh, no, 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 I get it. I have to zoom in, maybe? Because is there another thing through here, perhaps? Well, there's a thing in here. And then maybe if I did that? Oh, I see. Very, very, very clever. <laughs> that one wasn't actually too bad, either. 
Unless are there any more secrets? No, so it's pretty much just get to the end of the goal, really. Or the portal, if you will. Okay, so what else have we got? We got hallway right here. And this, are there like three areas in each level? I wonder if there's actually any bosses or so. I don't even know how long the game is, but I don't honestly care because I paid uh, nothing to get this. So, you know, <laughs> it's a little treat for me, isn't it? Okay, what have we got here? I get the feeling that that's supposed to be lava, probably, but I really don't know. Anyway, there's the goal right there. So I need to shrink myself down like this, and then... Oh, whoops, what the hell was that? I need to... Okay, so that's a wall, and it gets me, right? So maybe if I go up and then down... Would that work? No, not quite. I need to find a way to block out that by the looks of it. Okay, this is actually getting pretty tricky. <laughs> but I would think so, because, I mean, this is a puzzler and things. I guess what I could do is uh, zoom in, and then turn around, and then turn it this way, maybe? That could work. <laughs> I'm going to try a whole bunch of random stuff, man, and see what happens. Okay, so I want it to go like that, and now... Oh, hang on. I see, so like, he goes across here, but then... Is that a thing that he touches over there? I get the feeling that it is, yes. There's a thing right there that he keeps touching, so... Oh boy, this is difficult. Um, If I do that though, he's still gonna touch it, isn't he? Yeah, because... Oh boy. <laughs> There's really not a lot to say with this other than, oh boy, by the looks of it. Alright. Um... Hmm. The puzzle with this one, oh my goodness me. Wait a minute, oh hang on, wait, no, I think I get the picture. Wait a second. Well, if I do that, then, yeah, there we go. So now, I can easily just walk by like this and then just make it to the end of the goal. I like how you can actually use the pillar to block it out so that then you can make it through. Oh my god, wow. The balance of difficulty as well is pretty evenly balanced. In fact, let me just have a look around though for a second, because, like, I see they link between all the arcades. I see, I see, I see. Also, where do I go now? Do I just, like, is that it? I, is, the, is the wall flower, like, the last one or something? I'm not sure, really, but, um, I'm just gonna see how far I get into, like, this first section. If there's a second section, though, I'll call it off there, because I don't want this video to be too long. But oh my goodness, I am enjoying this a lot. Alright, so there's a wallflower right here. Also, wow, this pans out, like, really far. Let me just have a look around, though. Um, so if you're here, then uh, I need to not do that. I need to try and, like, have a look around and get you to go maybe sideways. Is that right? I assume so, anyway. So let's see, you're this way. I want to bring you onto there and then bring you across. There we go. And then connect you like that. There we go. That was alright. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, that one, to be honest. Um, except there is more. Why am I not surprised? God. He's actually a 2D, like, sprite, technically, as well. Yet, he feels like a 3D model because it's put into a weird perspective. Oh my goodness. Well, so there's the- whoa. That looks twicky. Hmm. So I need to try and get you onto that, I assume. Is that right? Although there's a ladder there. Hmm. What if I just do that and then move across? No, because I can't really go back any further, can I? Um... Okay, I'll try and get him back to where he was now. So, let's see, you were on uh, one of these, right? Yes, you were, I remember now you were on this one. Um, then, what would I do here? So, if you were standing here, I would like to bring you back this way for a second, just to be sure. Also, just realised the things are actually animated, that's pretty cool. Oh, I get it. Kind of, anyway. So let's see, if you're 
right there, then perhaps this would mean... No, because then I burn, don't I? Yeah, because he's blocked from my perspective. Fair enough. But, wait, hold on. I've got him right here, haven't I? So that means then I need to somehow move you across here and then try and jump onto there, even though this bit of lava here is blocking it. Um, hmm. Let's wait, is there like a, another thing over here that I have to jump onto? No, there isn't. There is absolutely naught by the looks of it. So, huh, how would this work? That is the question. Wait a second, hold on. What if I get him to fall? Oh! Oh, I get it! I get what I have to do! That's pretty goddamn clever, if I do say so myself and things. So, what I'm guessing I have to do is let you fall like this, then turn you around like that. But, in order to do that, I need you to jump out. Is that right? I get you the feeling that I've got this. So let's see, I got you out to here. Now where are you? Sir, what are you doing? Wait, what? Oh my god, really? Wait, hold on. Oh my god, I think I got this. I think I got this. Even though he's kind of a bit out of the area. I gotta... Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, damn you! There had to be a thing right there, didn't there? Hang on. Wait, let's, what if I go down there? Yeah, there we go. Right, okay, ready? So now, hopefully, if I bring him forward, there we go. He might just be able to. Where the hell are you? There you are. What are you doing in there, good sir? Oh my god! Wait. Hold it! Look at this! Oh my god! Look how close I am! Can I get you onto the thing? Oh my god, look how close this is! Look at how close this is! Look at how close I've got you to the thing! No! What if I did that? No, that doesn't work. Oh my god, there had to be this one goddamn thing in the way, didn't there? Unless, wait, what if I, like, zoomed out or so, maybe? No, that doesn't work. Or, I could do that. Then flip you round, maybe? Is that how that works? No, not quite. I've got you stuck here, though, and I don't know how to get you out. Oh my god, look! So goddamn close! No! Oh man, look at this. It looks possible, otherwise why would they put me in this sort of situation? Oh my god, look! Yeah! There we go, that's how you do it! Yes! Sweet! Okay, cool, that one was actually pretty good. But now what? What? Oh, okay, fair enough, fine. <laughs> I'm guessing then that's the end of um, this one-off Let's Plays <laughs> on a bloody perspective.exe has stopped working screen. Okay, fine, whatever. So... Yeah, this has been one of Let's Play's blind edition of um, Perspective for the PC. Pretty good. If you want to play it for yourself, download it. I've got a link in the description and things. And I reckon you'll have fun. Except, I think, did I just beat the game? <laughs> was that the whole game, like, in one shot? That was cool, because that last one, wow. You literally had to use platforming and perspective, like, 
at the right time. Like, you had to jump and then move it around at the right time in order for it to work. Okay, cool, anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is rather strange. So, um, uh, see you guys in more one-offs and things. Bye! <laughs> Thanks to Yamrabira for requesting this.